Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Andrew C, and today is T minus nine days. Nine days to go. Oh my gosh. We're in the single digits, counting down until Saturday, August 27th. That is the day of the big event. The big event, the joining of Andrew C and L. Oh man. I still have a few things that I need to do. Tonight, L and I have been practicing our dance routine. I think we're about three quarters of the way there. We're probably gonna have to practice every day from now until the wedding to get it all dialed in. <laughs> Hopefully we won't fall down or trip or have any catastrophic failures in the dance number. We'll see. <clears throat> Actually L is also out right now. She is meeting with the friends that are providing the party favors. It's a handcrafted uh, item. I don't know if I've talked about it before. I don't think I have. So I'll leave it as a surprise for uh, all of you guests out there. I'm thinking I might have to have a post wedding video blog as well to uh, review the uh, festivities and show show off all the uh, stuff the party favors and whatnot that you may miss out on because you're not actually physically going to be there <laughs> the 10 people that watch this video <clears throat> but anyways it's I like making these videos and I want to have something that I can look at in 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years from now when I am old and married to L still and reminisce about these days leading up to the uh, big wedding. See how how nervous I was and how happily excited I am yeah I'm quite tired though <clears throat> for some reason or another I think all this planning and nervousness weighs weighs down upon a person who's going through this type of activity I, I gotta say, I am quite an involved groom because it seems like other guys I talk to, all they did was show up. So, <clears throat> I am an integral part of this whole production. And that goes to show how much I care about this, uh, this marriage and how much I want things to go smoothly and to have a great start to the joining of myself and my loved one L. So, I don't feel too bad about having to do all the wedding stuff. So, <clears throat> I think it's something I can be proud of in the future as well. That I wasn't just one of those kind of um, hapless grooms who just got onto the wedding train and couldn't couldn't uh, contribute at all to the running of the train, so so there you go. <clears throat> what else has been happening? Wedding related stuff. I'm working on the actual wedding or uh, the reception table numbering um, things, the the little things that'll be placed on each table. So I've started creating a mock-up of that. 
that thing. So I want to get that finished soon. Hopefully by this weekend. I'm glad we've got the content for the um, wedding programs all closed out. So I just have to get more of those uh, wedding programs printed and I have to get them cut and get those assembled. Yeah, so hopefully we'll finish those this weekend as well. I still have, well, I still have a few days before L's father gets here. Actually, I have about a week. Today's Thursday and he's coming on Wednesday. Because <clears throat> there's a few things I need to get done before he comes in. Well, even if he's here, there's I'm just going to have to go do the things I need to go do. And <sighs> drag him along with me. <laughs> or something. L will be around. Her father. My parents. Yeah. I think the the last week, the week before the wedding is going to be pretty uh pretty chaotic. Oh man. I need to hunker down and get that stuff finished off. <clears throat> Probably after Wednesday I won't be filming in this room anymore, so <laughs> that'll be a change. Oh, well, I'll just go into the uh dining room table and film from there, I guess. Or maybe the workout room. <sighs> Little bit of jitters nerves getting worse I guess as the, uh, the date gets closer that's to be expected <clears throat> but I can tough it out it's gotta be done Just hunker down get through it march through get to the top of that mountain enjoy the view and rest that's what I'm looking forward to. So you only do this kind of thing once in your life. And you want to do it right. And you want to do something that you're proud of. So I think that's what I'm going for. Do it right. Do it proud. <sighs> Even though it's hard and sometimes it's frustrating and a little bit torturous but I guess that's the uh, masochistic side of me it's the whole no pain no gain thing right if it wasn't a challenge then it wouldn't really be worth doing because after you do it you get the satisfaction of having the job done and the job done right Alright you guys, thank you as always for watching these videos. I will see you tomorrow, T-8, and hopefully I won't be going crazy.